8.30 in the morning. I don't know how much I'm gonna have to vlog for you today. I just woke up and got ready and like cleaned up my whole condo because I have a maintenance person coming over to look at my heater, or, like change the filter or something. So I had to like clear out the closet that the heater's in so he can get to it. Um, I don't know, my dad's schedule does not me. I think he's supposed, to, he's supposed to be here anywhere from 12 to four. So that eats up like my entire day. I can't go anywhere. I don't wanna like start a workout and then be in the middle of it when he gets here. So I'm just gonna be like sitting around waiting to see what time he gets here. Cats. Oh, this is gonna scare Max. I didn't even think about that. She's gonna be traumatized. She doesn't like when strangers come over. Anyway, I'm gonna get started on. I actually think I could wrap up one of my editing projects this morning, so we're gonna focus on that first. And I'd really like to spend some quality time with my own book today. That's the plan. So anyway, I just made some coffee. I hope you can't hear my dishwasher. That's running right now. Again, depending on what time he comes here. If he comes here at 12 and gets it done and then he's gone, then I'll still have all of my afternoon to get stuff done. Um, because I really would like to do some sit down videos today. I have some upcoming brand deals that I need to like film ahead of time so I can send them to the brand for the main channel. And then I have some videos for my Patreon page to film. But again, I don't wanna like set up and be in the middle of filming and have him show up. So we're just gonna have to play it by ear today. Also, something that I started working on last night that I'm really excited about. Um, if you didn't know, I do bonus videos over on my Patreon page under the self-publishing one-on-one tier. So I do two behind the scenes videos on self-publishing or like how-tos and stuff. So this month I'm focusing on marketing stuff. So I decided one of the bonus videos is gonna be like in real time, make a marketing plan with me as I'm making my marketing plan for the anti-relationship year. And part of that is my like pre-order campaign. So obviously the video itself isn't ever gonna be on YouTube, but I am excited to share some more details about the pre-order campaign as we get closer to the release. So if you have pre-ordered the book, hang tight, I'm gonna release like a form that you can submit your pre-order to and you're still totally eligible for the pre-order stuff obviously i'm gonna have to announce the pre-order campaign once i finalize all of the details but i'm excited we're gonna try some stuff that i've never tried before this time around anyway i am gonna post this on my main channel today i just kind of decided out of the blue so we're gonna make this public. I'm sure a lot of you already saw it by the time you're watching this vlog, but just in case you missed it, this is up on my main channel now. Hello, it is a little after 10.30. I just packaged up the dog medicine, so I'm gonna take that to the post office and, sh and ship that off. We have a large pile of recycling and trash, so I'm gonna take out on my way down, and a Maxine. And I am rushing because I don't want the guy for my heater to get here when I'm not here. But this morning's been fine and productive. We've been working on editing client stuff. Honestly, I got a little distracted. It hasn't been the most productive morning. We'll get back into it when I get back. It's 12 o'clock, I just got a call. The guy is here, he's parking. So at least we didn't have to wait till like four o'clock. But does anyone else just like feel awkward with these kind of things? And I'm just kind of in the zone for work. So I'm hoping this doesn't take too much from me. Hello, it's now 1.45. So they were here for like two hours and I felt so uncomfortable because like I didn't want to be in their way. It's a small condo. There's only so many places that you can go. So I just like stayed in here to try and stay out of the way. But that means I got so much work done because I was like so focused, I had nothing else to do. So I actually finished the novel manuscript I was working on. And I also finished the poetry collection that I was doing for a client that I just started yesterday, but poetry collections are always shorter and faster anyway. I did two read-throughs on it, but that was good progress. Um, now it's really hot in here because I kept having to like run the heater to do tests, so now my thermostat says it's 82 degrees in here. I am sweating, but that's the good news. It's not even two o'clock yet, and I'm done with work stuff for the day, so we're gonna move over to my book. It's 2.45. I was just getting set up to film a video and then I was sitting there just like staring at myself in the viewfinder and I was like, I can't, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> I don't really know what it is. It just hit me like a truck. I feel like I could just go to sleep for 10 hours. So we're in bed. Um, I'm just gonna lay here. Usually if I lay down just for like half an hour, that'll be enough to like recharge and then we'll get back into stuff. So I'm gonna lay here, maybe watch some YouTube videos or something until I don't feel as pathetic. But the good news is I got all of my client work done. So all we have left to do is work on my book today. And I just want to rest my eyes a little bit. And maybe like as a treat, I'll let myself have a glass of wine tonight while we work on it. I've been so good about not drinking as much. Sometimes, sometimes I'm good at it. <laughs> My main thing is I'm just trying not to drink during the week anymore and I know today's like a Wednesday so that totally defeats that purpose but I don't know. 
I'm just full of excuses. Anyway, we'll work on the anti-relationship year tonight. Mark my words. If I have to edit this clip and I didn't do it, the shame. It's now 3.30. I think the cats love nap time as much as I do because they always come to join me. We have a Maxine. I don't know why my hairbrush is in here, but it is. A Maxine and a Dino. I feel a little bit better, but I've seen some emails come in while I was laying here. So we're gonna go back to the office and take care of that. The look he just gave me when I moved. Oh, hey Maxine. I just came in here to get my camera. I didn't know you were in here. Yeah. What's up? You come with me? Well, come on. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. This wasn't recording. <laughs> we're gonna pour some wine. Um, I was just saying I've been working on Joe's book and that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. We're set up on the couch back there and I have a new show that I'm re-watching in the background. I don't know what it is, but that's just kind of been my thing this year. Instead of watching any new shows, I've been re-watching old ones. And like ones I watched like 10 years ago, like old, old shows. And I recently like hit the end of the shows that I have been re-watching. So now we're starting a new one. We're starting to re-watch One Tree Hill now. Did you know that show came out in 2003? It's a 17 year old show now. That's insane to me, like that it's that old. Um, anyway, we'll chat once we get over to the couch. I'm trying to get some good light so you can actually see this. Our wine of choice for tonight is Barefoot Peach. Oh my God. I didn't realize that's what this was called. Fruit Scotto, that's so funny. That was half the bottle. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like they like accidentally trained themselves to only like cheap alcohol? <laughs> like all throughout my college life, I only bought like really cheap bottles of wine and everything. And now that I'm older and I no longer have to buy the $5 bottles of wine, I've tried the expensive, not like expensive bottles of wine, but more like mid wine. And I still prefer my cheap stuff. Anyway. What we're doing i actually went back to even though i had been kind of in the middle of this draft i actually went back to the beginning and we're starting over and we're really being picky and changing everything on the sentence level so i have my emotion thesaurus here which i like to use and then i also have three books from kindle unlimited on my phone that i just found that i'm trying out with word choice stuff so they're all by the same author. They're all like the same kind of series, I guess. We have a thousand helpful adjectives, thousand strong verbs, and then we have a thousand character reactions from head to toe. This is my first time trying any of these books, so we'll see if I like them. But I thought it would be helpful to just have some things sitting here with me while I go through and I'm like really dissecting the book on the sentence level. So what I've done is I made this literal checklist in my notes app and I'm going to check off once I'm done with each. And I had been kind of in the middle of this draft, but I was going back and forth. I was trying to do two things at once and it was just too much to juggle. I was looking through my beta reader comments and their annotations of the manuscript. And then I was also trying to change things on the sentence level and like just things that I want to change and doing both at the same time was just like not working for me. So I'm going back through all of the chapters that I already did the beta reader changes to and like cleaning it up just based on what I want it to be. And then once I reach where I was in the manuscript, I think it was like maybe three fourths of the way through, then I'll finish off those last chapters just looking at beta reader comments and then I'll do a second sweep just doing what I'm doing now, if that makes sense. That's my plan. And I'm reading it out loud because that really helps me with word choice and stuff and flow and everything. And I'm having a good time. It's going well. So this is going to be our project for the rest of tonight. I guess while we're sitting here, let me see if we have any questions for today's vlog. Someone asked what's your favorite part about writing i don't know why that's such a hard question to answer but i honestly don't know i feel like i like different parts of the process for different reasons i think it's just the creativity of it like i'm the happiest when i'm doing this i just like feel the most like myself when i'm doing this like i can't not do this i guess i don't know if you didn't already have your youtube audience would you would you have considered publishing your poetry under a different name than your fiction i don't know i mean it's hard to know what i would have done probably not i've actually had to do a lot of thinking on this recently and when I'm thinking about my career and moving forward the whole like pen name thing and a lot of writers do that they have different pen names for different 
genres and although my books right now are kind of like a mix of genres moving forward i'm planning to start um branding myself more and sticking more to a couple of genres and the thing about having multiple pen names is if you can't if you don't have the time or the energy to really dedicate to upkeeping both of them equally um it's not really worth doing it i mean of course there are benefits to doing it there's reasons why people do it not splitting up different genres has its own challenges but i just don't have the time to maintain multiple pen names what shows do your cats like <laughs> we've talked about this anything but scary movies dean does not like scary movies but whenever i'm watching a rom-com they come over and watch with me i got a lot of questions um i don't know which vlog it was that we kind of talked about chronic illnesses a little bit so i've had a lot of people ask if i would talk more about that i've had people ask if i would make a video about that in particular and that's probably something i will never do is make a video about that and i probably won't talk much more about it than i have already that's just not really something i feel the need to tell everyone on the internet not that there's anything wrong with asking like don't feel bad if you ask the question i really don't care it's just not really something i feel like needs to be everybody's business i think those are all of our questions thanks for sending them in feel free to comment them down below if you could think of some other stuff i might update you again later i'm not really sure this is literally all i'm going to be doing tonight is working on joe's book so if i don't update you again later you can pre-order this book that i'm working on right now you can add it to goodreads i would appreciate it so much um you should subscribe to my newsletter on my website if you haven't already that's the best place to get all of my updates and be the first to know about literally everything and I'll just see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. So hit me. <laughs>